So if I'm out in the field and I really am curious and want to identify some of the plants that are around me, there's a couple of really essential tools that I take with me in my field pack. The first one is a hand lens. This is a 5X hand lens. It gives you a little bit of magnification so that you can really home in on a couple of the key tiny features of plants that are difficult to see with the naked eye. But a hand lens works differently from a magnifying glass. To use a hand lens correctly, you need to bring the lens right up to your eye and keep it here. It's much more effective than trying to look at a plant at a distance through a hand lens this way, much as you would with a magnifying glass. So instead, I bring this right up to my eye and then I bring myself or the plant all the way up to the hand lens to where the feature I want to see really pops into focus. So it takes a little bit of practice because it's kind of counterintuitive how to use one of these. But just remember, bring it to your eye and then bring the plant toward you or lean in toward the plant until those great features really begin to pop out. We'll talk in a little bit about what some of those features to notice are. So what are some of the features that you need to notice about a plant in order to identify it? Well, if you're lucky enough to have a plant in flower, obviously you'll want to notice a bunch of features about the flowers. Their color, their size, their shape, the number of petals, the number of sepals, if there are any, and other general features like the stamens, the anthers, uh, whether the flowers are have both male and female parts or only male or only female. These are all things that you're going to want to notice in order to come up with a definitive ID. If you don't have flowers, and of course we don't for much of the year, there are vegetative characteristics that you'll also want to notice. So among these, pay special attention to the leaves. You'll want to note whether they're arrayed opposite each other or alternately along the stem. That's one of the first things you'll notice. You'll want to understand whether the leaves are simple, that is comprised of only one blade, or like these, compound, comprised of a leaf with many different leaflets on it. You'll also want to look at the size of the leaves, the shape of them, figure out whether they have little teeth or whether their margins are smooth or perhaps they're even lobed. Now you'll also want to look at features of the stem. Is the stem round? Does it roll easily between your fingers? Or is it maybe square or even triangular? So if there are little angles or wings along the stem, take note of those. Another feature you want to look at very carefully on the stem is whether there are small hairs or whether the stem is sort of sandpapery to the touch and what the shapes of those hairs are. Are they sticky? Does that mean they might have little glands on them? Or are they hooked or feathery or even sort of arrow shaped? All sorts of different features of the hairs. Also, notice whether your plant smells. Not just flowers have a nice odor or scent, or even a musky one, but the leaves when crushed or the stems when broken can sometimes have a unique smell that is very characteristic of a particular species. You may, in addition to flowers, have some fruits on your plant. This particular plant has little legume like pods so you'll want to notice the features of those fruits. What's their shape? What's their size? Are they hairy or sticky? Do they have a particular smell? Are they hard or are they fleshy? 